Oshigone, coming to you from the land of Garbaj in Gufno. Anyhow, uh, putting the oil pump in today, my Polsky oil pump. Um, they don't have a gasket, and uh, you know, if it was two perfect machine services, 100% you don't need one. But you know, this oil pump has been used as a door stop and a hammer and God knows what else. So, you might have a few nicks or scratches. So, I cleaned everything up and I put the very small film of RTV Ultimate Black around the oil pump because you don't want her sucking air like a $2 whore in front of a $5 bill. So, another trick tack it your sump to the oil pump usually a good general rule of thumb for tacking anything is three tacks in a triangle pattern is all you need because it can't go anywhere if it's done like that and the reason for doing this first my first hand experience my buddy used to have a Chevy 4x4 that we used to beat the tits off of and uh, when he pulled that motor out the sump was laying in the bottom of the pan so it's actually a very flawed idea having it just press fit in but yeah put a couple tacks on make sure there's no slag or anything left because you don't want that going through your motor and um, if you're using a new pump you should probably pop this, this off fill it full of Vaseline put it back on under more examination I noticed uh, this in the pump and I thought what the hell happened there you know it was a good motor nothing came apart I started thinking thinking and through a little detective work I remembered uh, the, this motor was from pick and pull and those useless lazy bastards that work there they can't use a wrench they couldn't use a tool for the life of them so they punch it with an air chisel and that's how they drain the oil pans and then they jam a plug in like it's it's pure retardation that's harder than pulling the drain plug but that's what they do on everything they punch holes in everything so I think what happened is that when they punched the pan, they smoked the pump, but uh, it worked good and it didn't leak, so we're just going to run her the way she is. And you know, the reason I'm running this used pump and I did my little spring tension trick in it, on it is a new pump, a standard pump ain't going to work any better than this one. Actually, this one will probably be better because I did the mods to the relief and it'll get more uh, oil pressure at high RPM. The idle uh, idle pressure will be the same because it's not touching the relief. Possibly at cold start it might uh, be higher because it might hit the relief on cold start but when you're just idling around when it's hot it won't affect anything but under heavy RPMs she'll she'll have a little more pressure. So that's one fact and then the second fact with an olds is if you go high volume pump you have to go a quart pan. And you know, high volume pumps 150 bucks, a pan's another 150 bucks. And then once you get a high volume pump, I highly recommend we'll use a drive shaft for the oil pump like a Ford. And I haven't had the problem with uh with an olds, but on a Ford, like the factory high output motors and stuff, I think they all had factory high volume oil pumps. They were known to twist off. So if you're putting a high volume pump in a Ford or an olds, get the hardened shaft that's uh, I think Moroso makes them that's stronger and you won't twist it off that's what I have in my 488 so anyhow you know it's not just like I was saying it's not just adding a high volume pump it's uh, having so many other issues to go with it uh, high volume pump a different uh, pickup um, 8 core pan hardened drive shaft and at the end of the day you know I think a wise man like Mark Twain once said there's no point in putting lipstick on a toothless horror and that's pretty much what we're doing here so alright um, yeah go through lube up I lube up all my bolts with STP check in your uh, torque specs torque it down to spec and you're good to go alright till next time